Chad. This, this is an entirely new definition of design without compromise. You're exactly right, Scott. This is what happens when you let Lexus designers craft a vehicle. And this LC convertible really showcases off their dedication to stay to the truest beret form of the LC Coupe. The LC evolution never stops focusing on being ever sharper and more refined. That's exactly right. Lexus engineers and designers focus on continually improving the overall linear steering feel, ride comfort, and overall acceleration, no matter how fast you're driving this vehicle. And that attention to detail is clear inside as well. Yeah, take for example these seats. The LC designer started off with the LC Coupe sports seats and then added in this perforation that flows directly into the stitch quilting pattern that's very unique and only found in the LC convertible. Nothing was overlooked. I mean, something as simple as presenting the seat belt with this artfully crafted piece of metal with the luxurious leather strap to hold it in place. You're exactly right. The LC500 convertible is designed to engage your senses right from the start. Ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. There's nothing like open top driving really gets the heart pumping, Chad. Since its arrival, the LC500 has been the most passionate expression of the Lexus brand. LC engineers invented new technologies to bring the design to life. Things like the ultra-compact triple beam LED headlamp design, LED taillights that were designed after fighter jet afterburner effect, and a specialized suspension system to allow for the 21-inch wheels and lower hood line. Now with the LC500 convertible, Lexus continues that philosophy with the thrill of open top driving. Chad, we're driving on this bright, sunny day, and one of the things that strikes me is how vivid I can see all of the instrumentation, starting with the cluster over there. Yeah, the speedometer makes it so easy thanks to the anti-reflective coating that they placed on the LC convertible. Easy to see even in direct sunlight. And with the natural position for the multimedia display for the navigation, I can see everything super clear, especially like we have Apple CarPlay up right now. Yeah, and first, it's a huge display. 10.3 inches, you, you mentioned Apple CarPlay, but that's not all. We've got Android Auto and Lexus Plus Alexa capability, right? Yeah, so no matter which system you like to use and operate that you're familiar with at your home or on your mobile device, you have it right here inside your vehicle for you. And as vivid as that all is, you have some very sleek, elegant looking controls working your way down the center console here into the HVAC, right? The air conditioning. Yeah. So one of the things I love is the Lexus Climate Concierge that we have embedded into the HVAC system. Basically, think of it as an advanced version of automatic climate control. You have all the controls for your AC and your heat for the vehicle included with available heated steering wheel controls and also your heated and ventilated seats that you have inside the vehicle. And as we talked about, the LC convertible adds so much more into the cabin and experience. They didn't stop with just Lexus Climate Concierge. They added in also these new neck heaters that you can manually control and adjust the vent for depending on how tall you are as an individual driving or being a passenger in the vehicle. That is all connected into Lexus Climate Concierge. And another great addition is the open air control where the system automatically detects whether the top is up or down and pays attention to the sunlight, vehicle speed, and also the outside ambient temperature. So that way it can self-adjust the system to keep you very comfortable and right to your temperature that you have inside the vehicle. Wow, so lending to the idea of top-down year-round, truly, whether it's hot or cold. You got that right. No matter what day of the year it is, what season, you can enjoy LC to its fullest. Yeah. And Chad, this vehicle has the available Mark Levinson reference surround sound system. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It really allows you to feel right inside of the music like you're on stage with your favorite artist. It's quite exceptional. Now, does it work better with the top up versus the top down? It actually doesn't matter. The engineers thought that through right from the beginning. So they built in an algorithm, whether the top is up or down, it can automatically switch between the two and self-adjust the speakers to provide you that immersive experience that you're looking for with a Mark Levinson system. Great, this is the call I was looking for. Hey, David. Hey, Chad, my man. Happy to get your text. Uh, what's up? Hey, I have a surprise for you, and I was wondering if you'd meet me at Eagles Canyon Raceway tomorrow. 
wait, is it, no, wait a minute, is it the... Uh... Yeah, it's the LC convertible. No way. Are you serious? Absolutely. Hope to see you there early in the morning because we have the track all day. You bet. I'll see you there, Chad. Thank you. Sounds good. Bye. Chad, one of the things I'm not seeing are the controls to operate the top. Where are they? Yeah, this is a unique little trick that's in the LC convertible. Right here by the palm rest is the operation for the top. That's really cool. So it's just kind of covered up and out of the way when you don't need to get to it. You're right. And now watch this. Speeds all the way up to 31 miles an hour. You can even operate the top. If the sun's a little bit too much for you, you can bring it right up and close it out. Top raises in 16 seconds and you can fold it down at about 15. That is cool. Now, one of the things I have noticed about the top is it looks so much more refined than other convertibles I've seen on the road. The support structure underneath, what's different about it? The design team did do a fantastic job with the convertible top. They stayed truest to the form of the LC Coupe by keeping the exact roof line so that way this vehicle not only drives and feels like an LC inside, but looks like it going down the road. They look to the best of all worlds. So Scott, we've been talking about what it's like to have the convertible top out. What do you think of the interior? What strikes me about it, Chad, is every time I look at the interior, there's something new that I notice, some degree of detail that I notice that they've gone to. And it's everywhere. I mean, you could start at the door panel and see where that trim comes down, see this panel insert here. It's beautiful. That's totally Lexus. I mean, you don't see lines like this on the road anywhere. Except maybe Elsie Coop. <laughs> Chad, one of the other things I love about this vehicle is the belt line, how it just kicks up at the back. It looks awesome. Talking about the exterior of the vehicle, these 21-inch forged aluminum wheels are absolutely stunning. The rear wheels are lighter than ever before to further showcase the dynamics of this vehicle. And the exterior, no matter what your taste is, there's lots of different colors to choose between, including different convertible tops to match. You can craft your own style with a wide range of colors inside and out. Scott, how was that ride? Chad, that ride was exhilarating. It felt confident and fun, yet comfortable all at the same time. I'm glad you felt that because I feel that every single time I get behind the wheel of this vehicle. One of the things I love to point out is the design cues on the vehicle. It starts right here at the grill, continues right up the hood line, and continues right inside the vehicle seamlessly. Something that you won't see on the road today. Chad, I see that. It ties the exterior to the interior seamlessly. And that actually continues all the way to the back to the tail lamps. A lot of convertibles, it's all about what has to be taken out to give you that open top experience. With the LC convertible, it's all about what's being added in. From the overall design, features, and driving performance, it's just taking the LC to the next level, what it truly means to drive one. So a great addition to the LC line, but a great addition to the Lexus brand. I have one more question, Chad. What is it? When do I get to drive it? How about right now? Thanks, David, for joining me out here in Eagles Canyon Raceway. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say about the all-new LC Convertible. Oh, I'm super excited to be here, Chad. It's the first time to drive the Convertible, first time here at this venue for me. I can't wait to get out there. Absolutely, and we have this guy right here, the LC Coupe, that we both love their performance, and oh, that sound. Exactly that. We're familiar with this vehicle. A couple of changes got made to this vehicle. One I really like, and it's a, it's a real fine detail one. The gear shifter now is just a short throw on that gear shifter. For me as a driver, that goes a long way. Absolutely, it's all about those attention to details and now we have it with the top down. Let's go try it out on the track. Oh, I'm excited, let's do it. That noise under the downshift with that 10 speed transmission. It's a beautiful sound. They did such an amazing job with the sound dynamics of this vehicle. They added in a diaphragm into the front air intake with a pipe that actually comes inside the cabin. What that's doing, it's called a sound generator. It provides a little bit of extra noise from the intake, brings it into the cabin, 
And then on the exhaust, they did something special for sure by adding in an exhaust valve. So depending on how your throttle input in or the vehicle speed, it's able to really come alive by opening up that extra exhaust and just let this car sing. One thing I feel, especially through the steering, how precise the initial turn into the corner, the steering feels, super dynamic, and the car points exactly where I want it to go. The rumble of the five liter V8 under hard acceleration down these straights, that's pretty special. It's absolutely stunning. With 471 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque, you got all the power that you need and it's paired up to a 10 speed direct shift automatic transmission to be able to get really precise. You're using the paddle shifters right now that are actually made out of magnesium to give you that extra special tactile feel that we wanted to inside the LC. The gears are doing everything I want them to do. On the upshift, it's very fast. It's a smooth upshift, but it's a very fast upshift and same on the downshift too. It's real precise. As soon as I pull the paddle back, it's shifting the gear. So Chad, one thing that I'm noticing, it's a bright sunny day out here in Texas today. We've got the roof down, it's really bright in here. However, when I'm driving, I can see the head-up display system and it's perfectly placed, it's beautifully bright. I can see the speed, I can see the revs that I'm driving at, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and not only does it help you be able to keep your eyes on the road and around that next corner, but it also allows you to see things like your navigation data, and also driver support features. It allows you to see it right in front of you to make it easy. Again, eyes on the road and just enjoy the drive. Absolutely. Chad, I noticed there's an improvement in the gear shifting. Yeah, and whether you're in normal mode, sport or sport plus mode, the vehicle is able to shift and hold those gears a lot longer to make it more fun to drive in all speed levels. So no matter if you're on a racetrack or in the city streets, we want you to feel that power from that V8 engine and the torque that's built up inside. One thing I'm feeling around these medium speed and higher speed corners is the rear of the car, it feels planted down onto the track. It's given me a lot of confidence, even to get on the accelerator pedal that little bit earlier as well. The rigidity was a big focus on the LC convertible. Having the top out, you lose a lot of that structure that really helps this vehicle stay nice and firm and planted on the ground. So what the engineers did was they added a rear torsion box in the rear end of this vehicle. It adds that extra stiffness that you need. They also included a new four sheet spot welding all along the door seam area to keep it very firm and rigid on the side of the vehicle. And on the back end, they've also added in a performance damper from Yamaha, one of our great partners that have worked with all of our vehicles right up to our LFA supercar to fine tune some unique features in their high performance department. So what that dampener does for you is as we're driving, you feel that smoothness. Yeah. It's taking out small little undulations in the road. So not only are you able to really perform, but it also just feels so good in the steering wheel. Let's wow. so go around these corners, David. Have you noticed anything with the top being off? And um, one thing I'm noticing is just the feel of the car feels like it's a very low center of gravity. There seems to be very little nosedive under that braking or squat from the rear end under the hard acceleration out of those slower corners. Yeah, I'm glad you noticed that. But with having a lower center of gravity on this vehicle, it's actually lower than the coupe model without having the roof. That's one of the great benefits of having a convertible and making sure the body is very rigid so you get all that great driving feel that you're looking for. One of the great things about this course here is the fact that there are a lot of different mid to high G-force cornering. And we get to really fully experience that active cornering assist that helps provide a little bit of braking force in the inner wheels so that way it reduces down the chance of understeer. So when you're going through that corner, you can lay into that throttle and get that line that you're looking for. Chad, I'm doing like 35 miles an hour now and I'm looking in my rearview mirror and I see a small piece of glass in between our two seats. Can you give me a little bit more detail about that? Yes, that's a built-in wind deflector that's inside this vehicle, so that way it helps reduce down turbulence inside the cabin. So that way you and I can really talk very easy as we sit side by side. Or you can step on that throttle and hear that engine. That is true. Do you know something? That's a good time to do it. Let it come alive. Hey Chad, while we're here doing this swap over, I'll pop the trunk, let's get the windscreen out and see what it's like when you're driving too. Sounds like a great idea. And this is so easy. Oh yeah? I'm gonna stretch this across here to you. 
Got it. We're gonna fold it down. Perfect. Let's put that back in first, okay. and we'll lock those pins in place. Awesome. Let's go. You ready? Let's do it. So David, even the beauty now that we have this wind deflector, it's making it a little bit easier for us to hear yeah. or at higher speeds. But right here in the center console, we can actually roll up all four windows just as easy as that. Oh, that's cool. It allows us just to be nice, calm, and comfortable and enjoy it. But then the beauty part is, you can still hear that exhaust. You still got the sound, yeah. Hey Chad, going around these corners, why don't you switch that drive mode select up into Sport S Plus? Let's do it. So Chad, now that we're in the Sport S Plus on the drive mode select, something I actually read about before we got here today is the difference in that adaptive variable suspension. So when we're in the Sport S Plus, you're gonna see the suspension that little stiffer, a little less body roll as we go around the corners. Now, a lot of that is happening because the actual shock absorber itself, the rod inside is shorter. So it's giving us less movement around the corners. And there's also a little bit of change when it comes to the suspension bushes. So when we go over some of those harsher corners and harsher bumps, you're gonna feel a little less bumpy as you're going around, a little less aggressive over those bumps. Chad, that was pretty impressive stuff. I'm glad you liked it. I know I did. Yeah, he did. The entire team at the Monomachi plant did a fantastic job putting this vehicle together. Right down to the attention to detail like you talked about earlier, right from the gear shifter and even, oh, my favorite, that sound. Oh, exactly. I mean, if I was to give you four driving impressions, my number one would be the, just the rear dynamics on this car. It's so planted and gives me so much confidence around those medium and higher speed corners. My number two impression would be the steering. It's so precise. My initial turn into the corner, it, it gives me, again, so much confidence. Number three, the sound. That V8 rumble, especially in the hard acceleration, is amazing. Number four, you know what? I want more time behind the wheel of this car. Okay, you ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. As always, the LC Convertible comes standard with Lexus Safety System Plus and Blind Spot Monitor with Rear Cross Traffic Alert. So what is it like to drive the LC Convertible? Well, that depends on where you drive, of course. And I want you to visit your local Lexus dealership to experience it for yourself. But what I can tell you is, fast or slow, hot or cold, LC has been expertly crafted to give you the luxurious ride of a lifetime. Experience amazing. Now with the top down.